Hey guys, Big Mike Flips here. For those of you that are new to the channel, I do a lot of reselling, retail arbitrage, yard selling, thrift storing, goodwilling, all that kind of good stuff. Try to bring it all onto eBay platform and let you guys see what I do. Um, I do this as a part-time hobby. Sometimes it becomes a part-time job. I enjoy doing it, but the big thing is, is that I can share that with you and maybe give you guys some ideas. And maybe in the comments, you guys can give me ideas. Tell me what I'm doing right, what I'm doing wrong, or tell me what I need to be looking out for. That said, sorry for not having a midweek video. I decided to take a little bit of time off. I was doing a lot with my daytime job and did a little too much with this. So it got a little heavy on me. So that said, the sales you're going to see on this video are they start the evening of June 22nd and run through June 28th, which is today, Sunday, um, midday. Somewhere in the middle of the video, I accidentally say June. I think I say July 23rd. All these sales are June of 2000, uh, 2020. And, um, but like I said, the amazing uh, part is that the first part of the week, the first three or four days were really slow. I was worried it was going to be part of the summer slowdown. But the last, literally, when I'm dry, I, I left and went to the lake. Uh, my brother has a lake house. And we went down there to hang out with the family. And literally, when we're in the car driving down, I sold like $400 worth of stuff. Um, really didn't expect to, to sell a whole lot. I thought uh, it's going to slow down and nothing's going to happen, which kind of blew me away. And then on Saturday, a lot of stuff sold as well. Really kind of turned my whole week around. It ended up being my best week of 2020 for eBay sales by 46%. So I, I sold 146% of what I sold the last easily eight weeks um, in, in eBay sales, which is crazy. Now, I have increased my number of listings slightly, but I'm still hovering around 360 to 375 listings. Um, I'm not, I've not taken a whole lot of time. I keep saying I want to put more listings out there. I want to get to like 2,000 listings. I'm nowhere near that, but for some reason, things just picked up, and I sold a tremendous amount of stuff the last couple of days. So that said, um, the total in gross sales, as you guys watch through all this, the total gross sales was just over $1,700 in gross sales. Net sales after ship, uh, the shipping fees removed and the taxes and all that, it's going to be around uh, $1,300. Now that said, when you take all that out and I start looking at my actual profit, it was absolutely ridiculous. I made $1,000 in profit and I'm not saying that to brag. I was I'm extremely blessed to have that. I can't believe it, honestly. The sales right now, I think what's happened is with all the chaos in the in the world right now and the things that are starting to shut back down, I think things were starting to open up. And I think the 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 thing that we we shouldn't talk about on the the YouTube videos kind of spiked again. Um it caused a lot of people to kind of go back in and start buying online again. Maybe I have, honestly, I have no idea. The things that I'm selling are not necessarily things that you use every day as well. So most of them are just things that are like collectibles. Um, some things you get from Goodwill. Um, so it's, it's a wide variety of things. So I have no idea why the sales picked up, but with that said, I'm going to start, uh, I'm going to cut it here and go through the first several days of the sales, June 22nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th. And then I'm going to, you'll see me come back in this orange shirt on the end and kind of cover the actual sales for what we did the last couple of days. Okay, guys. So these are the sales for July 22nd and what I did, the first one that sold is actually this right here. This is the Snoopy Happiness All Around Instant Scrapbook. Um, it's a very cool item. This is one of the Goodwill pickups that I've got a couple videos back where I was trying to see how profitable um, a Goodwill run would be. Guys, go back and watch that video. Um, it shows you the total of everything I bought. This was actually um, an item that I threw into the $9.99 grab bag. Um, and I actually messed up on this. I, some, for some reason, I picked media mail as an option. So the buyer picked media mail. This item weighs almost two pounds. And unfortunately, I'm going to lose a little bit of weight. Um, I'm a little bit of profit on this, but I'm going to ship it out in a um, flat uh, flat rate padded envelope, which is $750. Uh, buyer paid $333 for uh, shipping. So it's not, not a huge loss, $3.30 loss. But uh, this item sold for $19.99. Um, and it cost me basically 77 cents. So 
Um, profit on it's going to be reduced a little bit, but I'm still going to make about $14 profit maybe on this as part of the grab bag. Um, maybe the next video, or depending on how many of these items sell before I wrap up this video, um, I may show the total where I'm at right now with the Goodwill sales, but that's the first item that sold. So um, total, uh, the person paid just shy of $25 and um, this is going to go out in a flat rate envelope and a profit's about $14. Next item is uh, two of these Sean Mendez signature body sprays. Um, got these on clearance at Walgreens. There was a bunch of these kind of things. I, I probably will never buy these again um, because these can only ship uh, ground and it's kind of expensive and I've had them for a good while. So um, I got them for 90 cents a piece. They're normally $9.99. Um, buyer bought two of them. So uh, last week I had a buyer that bought them from Puerto Rico and yet I can't send these overseas at all. So it's continental US only. Um, but these two sold, and so I've got $2 into it, just shy of $2, and they sold for $12, plus the buyer paid um, about $10 in shipping. So my total profit's going to be 7 or $8 on this total. Um, so not a huge profit, and I'm glad these two are gone. I've got probably, I think, six or seven other uh, spray uh, types, uh, smells and, and versions, uh, some Rihanna and, and uh, a couple others, but these two are gone and I will probably never buy these again because they're just a pain. Um, you got to ship them ground only and it takes forever for things like that to, to arrive. And I've actually had a couple uh, that shipped, these that shipped out that disappeared and never showed up. So I ended up having to give a full refund to the uh, buyer um, because the, I, I'm thinking, I believe the ground ones did not have tracking. Something was wrong with them. Um, had to give a full refund. So there you go. That's those two items. The next item is a huge item. So one, okay. So this next item is another big item. Um, it is the Justice League, and it's got Batman, Wonder Woman, Cyborg, Aquaman, all the guys. What's this last guy's name? Paradian, Paradimon. I, I don't know if, or Parademon. Sorry. Um, <laughs> shows how much I know about the show. Um, I've watched it multiple times, but I, I don't remember them calling him Parademon. But anyway, um, this these are 12 inch, I guess 12 or 12 and a half inch. This is a six uh, six figure lot. Um, this is actually a pretty highly collectible item. Um, I had multiple people wanting me to open the box and send them only the Parademon, um, but I, I just don't want to do that. I wanted to keep it complete and sell it this way. So this cost me two dollars as part of the Mother's Day haul. $2 into it, it sold for $59.99. And because it weighs almost six pounds, the buyer paid $28 shipping. So I might make a few dollars on shipping. I might not, because it's it's kind of expensive. Um, I'll probably send it out FedEx. But anyway, so you figure without counting the shipping stuff, I've got uh, probably a $50 profit into this guy. So I was glad this one's gone. This is another one of those huge items that are on my shelves that I'm trying to make space on. So this one's gone, $50 profit. Okay, the last item is actually a, um, a box of, it's five boxes of these equal peppermint mocha uh, packets. Um, picked these up at Kroger. Let me see if I've got one with a price tag on it. So picked them up for 49 cents a piece. These are usually, I wanna say these are like $6.99 or $9.99 a box. Um, and these were right after Christmas, they put them on uh, clearance and they're still, they're not expired yet. They've got several months before they expire. I don't know if equal actually expires or not. Anyway, it's like a preservative, isn't it? Um, so anyway, five of these sold for $13.99 and the buyer paid about $8 shipping because I do have to ship these priority. Unfortunately, um, I've had these since, um, I guess January. So I've had them a good while. Glad they're gone. This was the only five I've got. Now I do have um, some gingerbread equals that I'm selling in packs of two to get them into the, the first first class rate. So I've got, I think I got like 15 or 20 of those to sell. So these finally sold. Usually it, what, what happens is people that had these during the Christmas time are starting to run out now and they don't sell them. They're only, uh, they're seasonal. So the gingerbread ones and the peppermint, peppermint ones should start selling here over the next month or two, hopefully. And if not, maybe they'll sell by uh, coming into Christmas time. So either way, profit on that is going to be, let's see, let's, one, two, two fifty. So pro profit's probably going to be about $8. Not a huge profit, but they're gone. 
Okay, guys, good morning again. It is June 23rd sales that we're going to cover now. Anyway, so I wanted to go over kind of what we've sold yesterday. Um, this It's early a.m., so hopefully something will sell before I finish all this. So anyway, um, I listed this. I saw there was a, a couple other YouTubers had mentioned these in the past. This is a Wii cleaning kit. It's the OEM, OEM Nintendo cl uh, cleaning kit. Um, not a whole lot to this. It's just a, uh, it's just like a little, uh, plastic piece that you slide into your Wii and some little cleaning, uh, lenses and also some dropper, uh, I, I'm assuming some kind of chemical that allows it to clean the Wii. But anyway, this, uh, was amazing. Um, I was probably, would have probably had thrown this away. It was in the bin, uh, with our old Wii and we never used it. We opened it, but we never used it. Um, and I actually listed this for $68.99 and it sold. Uh, it took a, two or three days. So total profit on this guy is literally going to be $63, $65. Um, I don't know if we ever, what we paid for this when we bought it, uh, maybe $19, $20. I don't know, but it's been 10 years ago, 12 years ago, maybe that we bought it. So anyway, buyer paid about $10 shipping, huge profit on an item. This is definitely something you want to watch for when you're out at yard sales and stuff. Um, if you see these and especially if it's super cheap, grab it and uh, check it out and see if you can flip it. All right. The next thing is the last Mohonic. Uh, you guys have seen these. This is the fourth one. This one, like I said, has these extra two stickers on it on the front, not on the back, but one on the front. Um, these usually sell for about 25 bucks or so. Um, I did list them at $9.99 um, because of the stickers. Um, had I had somebody else not already tried to take the stickers off and done some damage to the cardboard, I would have tried to have removed the stickers, but there's already damage. Um, they're a little far gone. They're still highly collectible, so I just wanted to move them pretty quickly. I've got $2 into each one of them, sold them for $9.99, plus the buyer paid shipping on top of that. So what's interesting about these is I think two of them went to Mexico, one went to Canada, and then this one is in the U.S. It's in the Northeast. So anyway, all four of those are gone. And the last item... I actually messed up. There was supposed to be two of these. Supposed to be a multi-auction. It's a uh, CPAP Dreamwear Respironics um, nasal pillow, I think. Yeah, nasal mask uh, pillow. Um, it's a small. Um, again, you guys can sell these as long as you look at all this right here. And and uh, both sides. Sorry, I can't do that. As long as you look at this area. And there's nowhere on it uh, anything that says RX or prescription-based. And also, as you can see, it's sealed. And once it's been opened, I would never try to resell something like that. So it's sealed. It's not an RX item. Um, checked it out. And these are from uh, a relative. My mom actually gave me these. So um, she had extras. Uh, this sold for $12.99. And the buyer's in Canada. So they pay $10 shipping for this three ounce item. So I'll throw that into a little um, bubble mailer and ship it out. And the profit on that's going to be for me, it's going to be twelve, thirteen dollars, twelve dollars. Um, obviously, I'm not sure how much my mom paid for these items um, because she ended up getting a lot of extras. But now, instead of throwing them away, she's going to send them over to me, and I'll set, resell them. Either way, I listed another one uh, because I had two of these. Um, so we'll see how the profit works out on that. Okay, guys. So now we're going to go over the June twenty fourth sales, and I actually uh, accidentally pre-boxed one of the items i'll throw a throw a picture up on the screen this is actually two um, gi joe foreign soldiers uh, these are literally almost in mint condition uh, they're the modern day collection modern day israeli defense force soldier so the guy that uh that bought one of them he uh, sent me a, a note saying hey please make sure you package it really well i uh, want to make sure the box doesn't get crushed and I forgot, I thought I'd put a quantity of two on this. Um, so it, one sold for $32.99 and the buyer paid about $13 shipping. And then, so I sent him a note and said, hey, I've got another one. I've just, I've re, I re relisted it. So I got another one if you're interested in multiples. And he replied back, absolutely. Can, can you give me free shipping or combined shipping? I said, sure. So he bought it. I refunded the shipping. So I've actually sold two of those GI Joes. Again, pictures on the screen. Um, $32.99 a piece. So total profit on this is going to end up being about $54 after um, shipping and fees and everything. So um, I did use my free, uh, not free, but my uh, reduced cost eBay box. This is the 16 by 
16 by 12 by 8 works perfect for these GI Joes. I can cut it in half um, sideways, cut it in half to do one, or I can pack two in here and ship them out. Um, ended up being about, about three and a half, yeah, three and a half pounds. Uh, so it's going to have to go FedEx. Um, the other thing to note on this, uh, the eBay boxes. So eBay sent out a $25 um, thank you. I don't know if they sent it to all stores, store owners or what, or maybe it's more for different tiers of whatever store level you are. But I used that $25 and I added, instead of just getting 25 uh, boxes, I ended up getting 50. Um, their shipping was like, it was going to say it was like two weeks and it ended up being like two or three days. So I live pretty close to the Kentucky um, center where they send them from. So um, got here in no time at all. Okay, the next item is a little bit older item. It's a vintage item that's kind of been sitting on the shelves for a while. This is from 1991. It's called the Chamberlain uh, Remote Control Transmitter. It's got a price tag of it on $37.99. $37 Holy cow. Um, but anyway, I've had this out there for probably four months. I reduced the price probably too low. If I'd have left it up, uh, one thing I found if watching other YouTubers, especially and, and just from historical knowledge, if you're patient and you can leave these things out there, they'll usually sell for what you want, a little bit higher price. Um, but I am trying to move a, a little bit of inventory a little bit quicker. So I reduced the price down. I think I originally had $22.99 on it. Ended up selling it for $15.78 and the buyer paid about $7 shipping. Um, so I will probably end up shipping this in a box to protect it because it does have a little bit of damage on the side here. So profit on this guy, I actually spent, I think I spent $5 on this at a uh, local shop. So not a bad return. Okay, so the next item is this KA2 Hit Girl. Um, item which uh, let's see I don't even know what this is from I, I know what the KA stands for I'm not going to say it so anyway this um, this is series 2 uh, it's the unmasked 7 inch scale version so um, this item I didn't think it was going to sell the pricing on them was um, not real high out, out, out on the uh, out on eBay but I went ahead and listed it and I listed I got it for two dollars as part of the Mother's Day haul and it sold for $7.99 and the buyer paid about $8 in shipping. It is priority mail, so profit on that is probably going to be five to six bucks. Um, this is one of those lower end items that I got in. I got probably several hundred items like this that are probably eight to twelve dollar items. Um, I'm just going to slowly try to list those as I'm going through the other items, the higher end items. I'll, pull, I'll mix in some of these guys so that I can definitely make sure I, I trickle out uh, the good and the bad at the same time. Okay, the next item I accidentally, uh, I actually prepackaged this before. Um, it sold. It's a Samsung SSD hard drive uh, that I had ordered uh, quite a while back, and ended up getting it for free. Um, it was two hundred twenty nine dollars. I ended up getting it for free, and so my total cost is zero. And their their price on these actually have gone up. So this is a Samsung Evo. Um, I'll throw a picture on the screen. It's an Evo 2 terabyte hard drive. They're selling for $300 on eBay, and I believe they're selling for like $350 on uh, Amazon. So I was pretty surprised. I listed it for $300. The buyer paid $300, and then they paid with taxes and shipping. They paid another $30. Uh, it's California taxes, I guess, are a little high. Um, so I'll send this out. I'm going to send it in a bubble uh, a flat rate so that I can get the uh, insurance with it as well. The first buyer was actually um, somebody in uh, that had stolen a, an eBay account, and then they bought this. And fortunately, the um, owner caught it really quickly. Um, they were a little rude. They sent me a nasty gram thinking that I had uh, stolen their account. Um, I did go ahead and just let them know. You know, they they threatened me, said they had reported me to the local authorities, and so I just replied back and said, "Hey, don't threaten me." Um, it's not my fault. It's not my account. That your your stolen account bought the item, and you fortunately you caught it. And uh, so I, I did forward that on to eBay as well, though, just to make sure they were aware of the uh, the stuff that was going on. So I did add that buyer to the block list just in case something happens. But um, either way, this the first buyer fault uh, fell through, and the second buyer I did reduce it. I think by ten bucks. Second buyer. $299.99. Uh, so basically going to make about $280 profit on this guy. Okay, guys. So the first thing that sold on June 25th, late June 25th, is this Call of Duty Mega Blocks guy. It's a pretty big set, so I'll try to get it all on the screen there for you. 
I've sold two or three of these now. And if you guys watch my older videos, you see them. I feel, you know, Mega Bloks, it's kind of interesting. Mega Bloks feels like the uh, knockoff Lego, but I'm telling you, some of these things are actually pretty valuable. This one is from 2013. My best guess is, is that these also retire. Um, this guy actually, I, obviously I got it in the Mother's Day haul. This was a $2 item that I picked up, brand new sealed, and it sold for, I, I actually sent an offer. I think I had it for $84.99. Um, I'd seen some uh, sold comps out there for around the high 70s to low 90s, so I kind of hit in the middle middle road. Um, but it, I've gotten several nibbles on it. I had a lot of looks, a lot, and I sent out several offers. And finally, I decided, hey, I'm just going to try and boost my sales a little bit. Sent out an offer for $73.33, and they took it, and then they ended up paying about $15 uh, shipping on it. It is pretty heavy. It's probably about four pounds, so it's going to have to either go FedEx or I'm gonna have to do uh, priority with some franking boxing, Frank boxing, Franken boxing. I can't say that Frankenstein boxing going on. Um, that said, huge profit. About after it's all said and done, my total on this guy, uh, total gross profit is going to be around sixty-five dollars, uh, sixty-two to sixty-five dollars. Huge deal. Totally unexpected, but I'll take it. Okay, this next item. <laughs> Um, I actually am in my, uh, there's a Facebook group for my neighborhood and, uh, there's a lot of people that actually have a lot of stuff. They, they list for, they list on the Facebook group and, um, there's either the prices, I don't know if you guys do Facebook groups or if you do, um, Mercari or some of the, uh, what is the other, or if you guys do next door, um, not Mercari, but really Facebook next door, Craigslist, those kind of things. What you find is the prices are either way off too high, way, way off too low, or just items that the people list and then they never respond. It's kind of funny. But anyway, the Facebook group I'm in is pretty cool. I love my neighborhood. Um, it's I, I find a lot of stuff. There's a lot of things that are listed really high price that I would never even touch. I would never even think about. But you got to realize a lot of times in neighborhoods, people are trying to help out other people in the neighborhood. So they may... They may list something for a little bit more than what what I would try to sell it for or what another person would try to buy it for that's trying to do something with it, like flip it. If I was buying this to reuse it, I probably would definitely uh, pay this pay price. Uh, paid, I would have paid more. But this item is a Logitech, Logitech Elite Harmony um, Entertainment System remote control and docking station. Um, it, what's interesting about this guy the listing showed just the remote and the docking station and a couple wires. Um, went and picked it up. The person asked fifty dollars for it, which I was like, I looked on looked at the sold comps. I was like, wow, these things are going for as much as one hundred and seventy five, one hundred eighty five dollars, two hundred, two hundred and twenty new. So I said, heck yeah, I'll I'll take a chance on it. So I responded to him, let him know I would pick it up. So went by, picked it up. Brought it home and realized that the little IR, the little infrared uh, cables were missing. So I chatted to them, said, hey, if you can find them, great. If not, let me know. They replied back and said, hey, I not only found the two infrared uh, cables, which have the plastic on them brand new, never never been used. I also have the box and the instruction book booklets. I went by and got it. This thing is 100% complete. It is literally brand new other than the hub system has a little, a few little scratches on it. So sorry for the long story. The key is, is I bought this for 50 bucks. I've ended up flipping it for $158 plus $15 shipping. Crazy deal. Could not believe it. I tripled my money basically. So $150 profit easy, uh, no, $100 profit on that easily from Facebook marketplace, uh, a Facebook group that was a local person. So don't ever pass those up. If you've got the opportunity to join a bunch of local Facebook groups, do your county buy, sell, trade, your city buy, sell, trade, do the surrounding county and city buy, sell, trades, because you never know. Somebody may list something that's worth $1,000 for 50 bucks, and you would drive an hour to go get that thing, I would imagine. So check those things out. I've made uh, a good bit of money off of Facebook, so I would definitely keep that as a great sourcing option. Okay, this next item is giant. It's absolutely huge. So I'm going to show you some of it, but I may not be able to get mo much of it on the screen. This is a Revel 172 scale Wolfpack German submarine, if you guys can see there. I'm not going to show you the whole thing. I'll show you how long it is. Quite large. 
So this guy, I've had it uh, as the first Mother's Day pickup. I ended up getting it for about, I got it for $2, which was one of the one of the multiple items that I picked up for $2. Ended up selling this guy. I had it for $140, I think, for a really long time. Um, well, since Mother's Day. And uh, somebody sent me an offer for, I think, $110 or something like that. And I sent back $120. They accepted that, um, so 120 bucks. So I got two dollars into it. They paid 120, and they paid about 20 dollars shipping. This guy's going to end up probably costing me at least 20 dollars shipping. So sorry for the dings. Um, it's going to cost me at least 20 bucks shipping. So we'll get this guy out probably via FedEx. The profit on this is going to easily be a hundred dollars cleared, which is just absolutely crazy. There's some people that really love their models, so always keep an eye out for sealed brand new models especially the stuff from world war ii german subs american stuff american ships and planes and japanese planes and all both world war one and world war ii excuse me uh, for for japanese stuff german stuff american stuff because it's just it's a hot seller a lot of times you'll find overseas sellers uh, overseas buyers buy a lot of this stuff Okay, this next item actually um, I would have never expected this type of item to sell but this is a Pusheen, P-U-S-H-E-E-N. I don't know how to say that, Pusheen. Um, it's a, the only reason why I picked it up is I saw this little um, silver kind of OEM tag on it, official tag, and I thought, wow, that's kind of interesting. Normally you only see that on stuff that's like limited release or something special. So I went ahead and picked it up. Um, it's obviously, it's got Pusheen on the, if you can see the tag there, but it's a skate, uh, cat on a skateboard which is pretty cool. Um, it's a neat item. It's literally mint shape, brand new, no marks, nothing. Um, picked, this, picked this up at Goodwill for $1.99. Um, this is not part of the Goodwill um, sourcing trip that you guys saw in my other video, but this guy was $1.99. Um, it was literally, it was in actually a bag. Um, so I don't know. I actually pulled it out of the bag. I probably should have left it in there. I may have gotten more for it, but this guy actually sold for $28.88. I want to say they were going, if you if I had left it in the bag with the tags and everything brand new, they're going for like $40 to $50. So $28.88 plus the buyer paid shipping on top of that. So $2 into it. Profit's probably going to be around $24, $25. Okay, so here's another item that absolutely surprised me. Um, I'm not a huge, I was a huge wrestling fan when I was a kid about 30 years ago, 40 years ago, however long ago that was. Now I just kind of look at it and I kind of chuckle at it. And what I found is that there's some huge, huge wrestling fans. If you, if you get out there and start watching the, the stuff, people go absolutely crazy for the wrestling stuff. This guy is a pivot punch ECW extreme, uh, Sabu and, or I, th I hope I'm saying that right. Sabu or Sabu. Um, ho hopefully I don't make anybody mad by saying his name wrong, but anyway, um, this guy, this is one of the Mother's Day Hall, uh, pickups, $2 into it. It is in absolute, really great shape. Uh, maybe that's why it went for so much more. I looked at the comps. This guy is going for a lot of money. I sold this one for $69.99 plus the buyer paid $12 shipping. So I need to check that they may be overseas. So and I also I added a little extra for shipping because I wanted to make sure I bubble wrapped it and got it in a little bit extra um, padding. So I probably went over a pound. That may be why it was a little, a little more expensive. But anyway, crazy item. I would not have expected something like this to sell for 70 bucks. So profit on it is going to be easily over $60. Okay, this next item is an interesting one. It's a Nightmare on Elm Street character and um, unfortunately he came loose the bubble came loose but I did list him that way I took pictures of him and listed him and basically opened the box and showed how he had come apart um, a lot of people will t typically I think I've mentioned this on my other videos they'll try to re-glue that back on it is brand new it just came loose inside the protective case here so what I did is I took the protective case off took pictures of it and basically listed it as brand new and I said I'm not gonna glue this back on I will extra I'll put extra bubble wrap inside the case so it doesn't move around a whole lot but I said if the buyer wants to I'm gonna let you basically make the decision to put it back together so I listed a little cheaper than most other most other ones that were selling. I sold it for eighteen ninety nine. I've got two dollars into it. They paid seven dollars shipping. So I'll put a little extra bubble wrap in there. Profit on it's going to be around fifteen dollars. Okay, so this next item I actually picked up at a 
thrift store, a local thrift store. Um, I actually thought when I looked it up, its comps were a lot higher. They were around the 40 to 50 mark, but they weren't selling very often. And I, what I worried about is I actually continuously reduced the price. I should have left it as is. I got a little too antsy on it because I thought maybe it's not going to sell. So I ended up sending somebody in an offer for a really low price, $22.99. I've got $14 into it. So I ended up, when it's all said and done, I'm going to make about $5 on this. If I had been patient and just left it out there, I could have easily made $20 to $25. So that's a lesson for you guys. Don't feel like you have to drop your prices. If you continuously look at the sold comps and they're selling for that price range, it may take a couple months. So if you're if you have uh, inventory room, then don't get in a hurry. Don't feel like you have to move the items really quickly. Try to leave it out there and get the maximum return on it because I could have made another $20 to $30 on this, but instead I got a little antsy on it and I reduced the price too too quickly. But anyway, they still paid. Um, I'm going to end up making about $24 because I, uh, I didn't realize I charged a little extra on the shipping. This was an item that's been out there for about four months. So the, the shipping was a little high on it, so I'm going to make a couple of dollars there. Total profit on this guy though is going to be between the five and eight dollar range. So um, I should have, I could have easily made three times that or four times that if I'd have been patient. But either way, I'll take it. It's not, uh, I, I don't have a loss. And now this item's out of my inventory so I can move on to the next item. Okay, so this is another one of those wrestling uh, characters, but it's also a basketball player, Dennis Rodman. Uh, this is the Power Slam WCW wrestlers, Dennis Rodman. Um, the interesting thing about this one is he actually has, if you can see it there, he has orange hair. So there was two variants of this guy. There was an orange hair one and there was a green hair one. Um, I think the orange hair one was the more common version of that. The green hair one was were, the green haired ones were going for like 60, 70 bucks. It's kind of comical. He's got this pink hat, uh, cowboy hat here. He's got a basketball goal up here. I don't know if he like went wrestling and, uh, use that to, to slap people around that kind of thing. But anyway, this is called the back flipping backboard action. Um, this guy is in really good shape. It's not in mint shape, but it's in really, really good shape. Um, like it was never, uh, out at a store. It's a toy biz item. Um, so this sold for $21 and 13 cents plus the buyer paid about $7 shipping. So total profit on this, this is a $2 item. Um, it's going to, I'm going to get about 17, $18 profit on it. Okay. This next item, this, uh, this picture is not going to do a whole lot of justice for it, but this is a, um, Danica Patrick race car set. Um, you can actually see her picture here on the side. Give you guys a little bit better picture of that. Um, let me take the top off, let you see the inside of it. So, uh, it's actually wrapped up. So I'll post a picture on the screen for you guys to see. But um, essentially, this guy was a $2 item for the Mother's Day haul. Um, this one I've had out there for $54.99 for a little while. I went ahead and dropped the price a little bit just to try and push some sales through. I've got $42.13 plus $12 shipping on top of that. So total profit on this guy is going to be around $35 to $38. Okay, this next item is a Logitech Harmony 520 remote control. You guys can see that. This was in excellent shape. This was a Goodwill pickup. Um, this was also before the last Goodwill video, if you guys go back and watch that. I picked this guy up for $299, or uh, yeah, $299. Um, that's the typical price I pay for the remotes at Goodwill. And um, tested it out, made sure it worked. And if you actually look at the, I actually took pictures. What you, one of the cool things is with remotes, if it has an LCD screen like this, put batteries in it, get it to do something so you can take a picture of the screen while it's on. People, they, they take a lot more value in that to know that it actually works if you can take a picture with it actually working. So this guy, I got $1.99 into it. I sold it for $19.99 plus the buyer paid the $6 shipping. So huge profit on that. You know, what is that? 10 X profit. Um, but going to end up making, I guess about, what is that? 16, I guess it's eight X profit, $16 profit on that. So not a bad return. I love remotes. I'll sell them all day. Okay. So the next two items are actually part of the Goodwill haul that I did the video, uh, two or three videos back. If you guys get a chance, go back and watch that. And what I did is I wanted to make sure I could, I wanted to test the market and see if I could make a Goodwill run at, during all this uh, chaos that's going on. Um, when my a Goodwill store opened up, I went in and, and I spent about $90 and I wanted to track that to see what my profit margins would be. 
And I'm going to tell you, I'm in the profit. I'm way in the profit now after these two sales. So I'm going to show you these two things and I'm going to throw in the screen at some point in the next two items and just try to show you guys. It's a little spreadsheet. Just show you how much I spent, which was 90 bucks. The, the sales that I've made so far, and I've got a lot of items left to sell, and then where I'm at profit-wise. But th these two guys, this is a Shirley Temple Volume 5 set. It's got three sets of DVD in there. Now, the cool thing about this, um, what's interesting is there's, I think there's like four or five set box sets like this. This one's new sealed. I got it at Goodwill for, I think it was $4.99. And this was a dollar uh, added on because I bought it with a group of other DVDs. So I threw these two together. I just kind of listed them as a bulk buy and I sold them for $17.99 and the buyer paid shipping on top of that media shipping. So not a huge profit. What was it? About $6 into that. And I made, I'm probably going to clear $10 profit on that, but that was part of the Goodwill purchase. And I, my goal was to see how much I could make conservatively. I didn't want to sell. I didn't want to get like max profit because it may take a year to get max profit on, st on things. But these sold $17.99 plus shipping, $10 profit on that. And then the next item is this awesome Leupold or Leopold tripod. If you guys watched the previous video, you'll see me uh, show this on the, the table behind me here. This guy sets up really nicely. It's got all the legs work. Everything works. The only thing is, is the top, I think there's a piece that typically goes in here. And the, the previous, I don't know if the buyer, uh, the person that bought it, it's the person that actually sent me several messages asking about it. They asked if there was a peg here. And I definitely, I took extra pictures and put the, the fact that there's no peg there. I think it's a specialty scope type setup. I don't know. I'm, I'm not 100% certain. I looked on their website, try to find if, find if I could replace that. The key is, is these things are selling like this without that piece on there for like 150 to 170 dollars because this guy had a couple little dents right here and the fact that i wasn't 100 100 confident on that everything else works perfectly fine on it i decided i would try to sell it for 59.99 i bought this in that goodwill sell for 7.99 so 7.99 they buyer paid 59.99 and then they paid 15 dollars shipping on top 14 dollars shipping on top of that because it's pretty heavy so my total profit on this guy is going to end up being like $45. But that said, as I'll show you guys on the screen, the total return on that is, let's see, I've got, so far I've made back $149.51 profit. That's complete profit after all shipping fees, taxes, uh, cost of goods sold, everything. So I've got $90 in all those items. If you go back and watch that video and I've made 149.51. So I'm about, what is that? Almost $60 in the profit already. And there's a lot of items left to sell. So that's 166% return on my initial investment. And I've got free items now that I'm just going to get profit on the rest of the way out. So guys, that concludes all the sales for this week it's the bulk of this week again sorry for not doing another video in the middle of the week it just kind of got overwhelmed with everything else going on hopefully you guys enjoyed it hopefully it gives you some ideas on some things you can go out and source and find and resell and as always guys leave me comments let me know what you think about the content let me know just leave me a random comment heck i don't care um just anything to to start a conversation that we can communicate to each other and i can make sure i'm doing uh, something that you guys are enjoying as always guys be blessed and i'll see you next time